Welcome, welcome to videocopilot.net by Andrew Kramer. Welcome. Shout out, Sonny Garcia actually sent me that, and uh, he did a great job on it. I said, you know what? I'm putting that at the beginning of my next tutorial. Here we are, man of my word, always, <clears throat> unless I can weasel out of it somehow. In any case, um, we are going to be creating some jumpy text effects inside of After Effects. So here's sort of the idea. Okay, so might be a little hard to see, screen capture and all, but uh, you can see it just kind of jumps in here and comes into place. And the main focus of this is just the text as it kind of regroups. So what we're going to do is create a new composition. All looks good. Uh, we'll make it five seconds. Okay, um, text tool, we're going to write video copilot. Yeah, pretty good, huh? Actually, I wanted to get into voiceovers, but my voice didn't change until I was like 20, and by then it was just too late. And so here we are. Um, but that's all right. Text is looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to make sure this is in the center. Um, I'm going to turn this into a 3D layer, and I'm going to bring up the position options. Now, we are all familiar with the awesome wiggle expression, right? Alt click on the stopwatch and type wiggle parentheses 5 comma 200. Okay? So 5 times a second, it's going to move 200 units. So in this case, it's being applied to the x, y, and z axis. So pretty pretty wild. Not necessarily what we're looking for. So we want to make this wiggle specific to a particular axis, so X, Y, or Z. But it can be a little tricky to set that particular expression up. So After Effects comes with a pretty cool effects preset called Separate X, Y, Z Position. So if you do a little search, you can take this, drag it into any layer, and it automatically adds an effect called Separate X, Y, Z and it adds an expression to your position that basically says the value plus this offset essentially so pretty simple expression but uh kind of long so now if we just adjust it in the xy position you can see we can control any particular axis so if i alt click on the y position i can now set an expression up for this specific control and type wiggle Five comma two hundred. So now it's just going to move up and down. And if we turn on some motion blur, that's looking pretty good. Now, of course, the wiggle expression is a bit limited because you cannot keyframe it. So we need to set up an expression controller so that we can animate that. So with the layer selected, effect expression control slider control, and we'll just call it amount but it doesn't really matter and in the expression for the y position that we just set up I'm gonna type above the wiggle I'm gonna type amount equals take my pick whip drag it to the slider type 10 for the amount or whatever it doesn't matter we're gonna change that and then for the wiggle we want to wiggle it five times a second and amount is the amount we want to offset it. So in this case, 10. Also, I'm going to take the wiggle amount and change that to 8. Now, we can set up an expression for the amount of wiggles per second, but it's not really a good thing to keyframe because it causes some jumpiness that we don't particularly want. So you can do it. Uh, just set up another slider control, but for now, this will be good. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have so far. So that's wiggling 10 pixels. So let's increase that to a bunch. Let's see, I'll go like 400. And that gets it out of the frame. And it's pretty wild. So what you could do 
is you could duplicate the layer and remove the expressions and then you can have one layer acting crazy and then one layer that's just static but yeah, I don't care to do that what we're gonna do actually is keyframe the amount of the wiggle in this slider over about a second and we'll keyframe it down to zero and then if you hit U on the keyboard we can change the slider keyframe type to an easy ease by hitting F9 so now let's play that back it's a little long let's uh, let's shorten it up some so now we get sort of this crazy wiggle that comes into place and we can change this by simply increasing the amount so why don't we go to 500 play that back hey let's, let's make it even more bigger. so kind of does some crazy stuff but ultimately comes back into place because the wiggle amount is keyframe now at zero so gradually it goes from being offset 700 all the way down to nothing perfect now we can also add some life to the Z position by alt clicking on Z typing wiggle let's see five comma 100 and that would just give it a little bit of a forward backwards movement kind of cool okay so let's go and create the background so I have this lens flare that's already rendered and uh, it's actually created using Null Light Factory. Um, you can buy that online uh, pretty much anywhere. Pick it up at Walmart. Um, really cool plugin. I do recommend it. Um, I think it's a couple hundred bucks, um, but it is very, very powerful. So I just created a, a single lens flare image that you can use for the background. And I'm going to drag that out. And let's go and add a drop shadow effect, perspective, drop shadow. And what I like to do is set the distance to something kind of small, like three, and softness to something like that also. And increase the opacity. And then we duplicate the drop shadow. Edit, duplicate. So now there's two drop shadows, one on top of the other. And then I like to soften the second one, um, just so it kind of looks a little bit cooler, I think. Anyway, um, so now we have our text kind of flies in, and this is a still image, but we can add some life to it also. So I'm going to create an adjustment layer, and we'll put that just above the flare background. And I'm going to choose Effect, Color Correction, Curves, and we'll just brighten it up. Then I'll hit T for the opacity, set it to 50%, then I'll Alt click, type Wiggle. 5 comma 50 and 5 times a second it'll offset 50 pixels or so so the opacity will just kind of go up and down looking like that one other thing um, I'm going to add a wiggle to a scale parameter so this is kind of a cool trick now if you add a wiggle to the scale parameter now what's going to happen is The wiggle is not going to be uniform. As you can see, it stretches up, stretches wide. The numbers do not match. So you could set up an expression slider or set up a simple um, variable, um, scale equals wiggle zero, meaning just the first number in the scale, and then do a semicolon, and then two brackets, scale, comma, scale. So our expression, comma, our expression, which would set both of these values to the wiggle value that we create right here. So that's nice, and it will always stay uniform like we like. And then you can always just change the wiggle amount, just like you normally would. And there you have it, kind of a wild mix. And remember, you can use this with still images as well. Um, you know, I just applied this to the X position, so it's moving left to right. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of a cool way to add some random, you know, uh, craziness, um, you know, without having to keyframe a bunch of things. Um, yet you still have the control that you would 
you know, particularly want. So now I am back from the Mexican cruise and it was uh, very nice, I gotta say. Um, although I wish I knew a little bit more Spanish. Um, I think I paid about $80 for a box of chiclets, but uh, what are you gonna do? Okay, well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, one more round of applause for our uh, friend Sonny Garcia, who created that great little intro you heard. Um, also, Designer Sound Effects is coming together, and I want to point out something. We have outdone ourselves yet again, and we have added 100 sounds to that collection for a total of 300 sound effects. So it's not posted on the site, but as soon as we get the promo video done and the rest of the uh, extras, uh, that is going to be up on the website. Feel free to email us if you want to be notified when it's out. Um, we may have a pre-release. We may have some coupons. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but anyway, uh, I got to get back to some things. Um, I just bought this huge, like, bear.